What's up guys, I'm Akabat, Soft and Solutions, and today we talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Modern Warfare 3, and Warzone crashing to the desktop without giving you a notification why it's crashing, or you're getting a DirectX error, a black screen error, or your game just does not work. Now, I know a lot of people are playing this either through Battle.net, or they are playing this through Steam. Now, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is for all users out there, it doesn't matter what platform you're using, you can even be using the Xbox version as well, the Game Pass. Now, I can fix this for you, and I'm going to show you the settings and things that you can do to make this game work and if none of these settings work for you through the Battle.net version or the Steam version you can just go ahead and email me right here at the top here and I do charge a service fee ladies and gentlemen bear in mind I do charge a service fee because it takes a lot of time and dedication actually you sending me an email then me adding you to my discord channel and then basically going through your entire machine and find out what's the reason why this game is crashing and actually fixing it for you all right ladies and gentlemen so the first thing i'm going to go over is the battle.net version first over here i'm going to go over the battle.net version and how to fix it what things you can actually do inside the battle.net application itself to get this game up and running now yes ladies and gentlemen happy new year we are in 2025 and yes we got squid games out right now at this very moment for warzone and also for black ops 6. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a Battle.net user like me, you can just go ahead and come into Battle.net like this and then come to this little gear icon over here. Now, the first thing I highly recommend you can go ahead and do is just click on check for updates. I highly recommend you go ahead and do this and make sure that your game is actually up to date. It will just say here that your game is up to date. It's very important just to make sure that it is up to date and it says up to date. All right. Then the next step you can do is go to scan and repair your game files. You can go ahead and try and test this, but just in general, I don't believe that this this works. This this might work for people. Like there is some people out there that actually just scan and repair the game files. Then there's one or two or three corrupt files in their game, and then it starts downloading over here, and then it fixes their game and it works. So you might be one of those people. You might be lucky or whatever the case might be. Go ahead and try this out. Okay. If this does not work for you, ladies and gentlemen, then the next step is going to be to go to show in explorer like this now i'm just going to move this on my other screen and move it over here now this is when my call of duty is installed now i have this over here and then i have call of duty now this is what you're going to need to do as you can see mine is called call of duty warzone 3 and then modern warfare 3 and bo6 so that's every single call of duty installed in one folder now yours might be called something completely different it's because I renamed this folder, that's why it looks like this. Yours might just be called Call of Duty in general, and that's it, okay? Don't care what it says, just as long as you see this over here, and it says Call of Duty, all right? You're going to go one back like this, and you'll have your Call of Duty folder over here, and then just, obviously, you will see where it is installed. So as you can see, mine's installed on my D drive, it says D drive over here, and then Call of Duty. Now, all you're going to need to do is right-click on it. As you can see, if I right-click on it and I go Properties, it shows me that it's 351 gigs right now at this very moment. This is obviously like Warzone, Black Ops 6, and everything in it. This is how big this game is right now. It is 351 gigs. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is quite fucking huge. Now, you don't want to reinstall this entire fucking game because you obviously don't want to do that right so what you're going to need to do with battle.net and it's quite easy to do just right click over here and go to rename now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add something to it so i'm going to call it call of duty warzone and then obviously warzone 3 modern warfare 3 bo6 and i'm just going to say new update just like that and that's all i'm going to say new update all right so there it's renamed and now you're going to just fuck out of this and then as you can see here it still says play now if you give it some time what it will do is it will say install here and then sometimes it won't do that if you just give it some time in general depending on how much shit's open on your computer it will it will happen really quickly or it might not happen at all okay so if it doesn't happen at all then all you're going to need to do is come to battle.net over here and then say exit exit it completely and then relaunch your battle.net application like this now i'm going to relaunch my battle.net log into my battle.net and as you can see inside here it's now going to show this all right so it's going to say install instead of saying play now, don't worry, you don't need to install your game. As you can see, just hold on, I'll just show you. It's going to say install on Call of Duty. I'm just going to click on it. It says install. Right. Now, you don't need to reinstall basically 400 fucking gigs back into your computer. You just didn't delete the game. You just renamed the folder. All right. So now, Battle.net does not understand what just happened. And you are going to make it understand what just happened. It's because you renamed the folder. Now, this is something that actually does work for most people out there. And I'm hoping that it works for you. 
right? You're just going to say locate the game, not install, because obviously you're not going to reinstall 400 fucking gigs, even though it's already on your machine, that almost 400 fucking gigs. So locate the game, you're just going to click on it and go to your drive, which is your D drive, and mine is Call of Call of Duty, and select the folder. Please do not double click. Don't do that. Just click once on it and say select folder, and then it's going to do a couple of things. Uh, just give it some time. I say like initializing, it's going to say updating, and then it's going to say play, all right? So just give this time, let it finish, let it do its thing. It needs to do its thing over here to basically find what you just did by renaming that folder. It's now realizing that you renamed that folder, and now it's scanning through all those files, and it's going through everything. It's going to see if there's any Thing that's basically like fucked up in that folder or that's broken or whatever the case might be now as you can see now i can click play now ladies and gentlemen if this works for you and you click play and the game actually fucking works for you that's a good thing press that like button smash that comment down below and yeah this is how you can fix battlenet this is the battlenet version of fixing things for you then another thing you can do inside here after the, you've done this and maybe it still doesn't want to work you can go ahead and come up here and go to settings. Then come inside here. Make sure it says on game launch, exit Battle.net completely. You wanted to do this once you actually launch into Call of Duty, it will exit Battle.net completely and you'll just be running Call of Duty. Battle.net won't be running in the background. Then when you scroll down, you have this over here where it says use browser hardware acceleration. Make sure that this is unchecked. Please go ahead and make sure that that is unchecked. Because if this is checked, this can also cause issues for your game to crash, not launch, or just get black screen errors. So please go ahead and make sure that this is unchecked. And then you're just going to say done. Now, once you uh, do things inside here, it's going to ask you to restart. Okay, so I'm just going to exit out of that, close that again, and close that again. It's going to ask you to restart Battle.net once you uncheck this box, if you have yours checked. And then you're going to restart it. Battle.net will restart, and you should be good to go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's how I know how to fix Battle.net and how the Battle.net version works. And this could be a fix for you. Another fix for you could be this over here when it comes to Battle.net. Okay, Battle.net and Steam on top of both of these two applications to play Call of Duty. Sometimes Call of Duty, while Battle.net and Steam, does not like XMP being enabled. Okay, XMP is basically just you go into your BIOS and you enable XMP to do the amount of RAM that you have inside your computer it speeds so i'm just going to go to task manager over here and go to performance and i'm just going to show you my memory all right so i'm running mine at 6000 megahertz all right i have six i bought myself 6000 megahertz ram but you need to enable xmp inside your bios and then it will actually show you that your speeds are running correctly and it's running at 6000 megahertz okay so please go ahead and make sure that maybe if your xmp is on it might crash your game Okay, if your XMP is turned off, try launching your game. If your game works perfectly fine with XMP off, then play your game. Then you at least can play the fucking game. Because a lot of people are out there that they just can't even get into the game in general. It might be, for instance, I'm just going to make an example quickly. Like, for instance, you click on your Battle.net or let's say Steam, wherever you are playing this game right now, this very moment. You click play and then you just look at your screen and then it goes back to the play button. Meaning that your game doesn't function at all. And you've tried everything. You've tried reinstalling Windows. You've tried literally every single thing under the fucking sun. And the game still doesn't want to fucking work. All right. Now, that's why I said, ladies and gentlemen, if none of these things work for you, go ahead and email me. All right. Like I said, I charge a service fee and I will fix this game for you. Trust me, I will fix this game for you. All right. Let's jump straight into the Steam version. Right, so when you come to the Steam version over here, obviously I don't play this game through Steam. As you can see, it says six minutes there, but that's just for me to launch the game to make sure that it's working on Steam and that everything's all right and everything's hunky-dory here. All right, so what you're going to need to do inside here is a little bit different. It's kind of the same as Battle.net, but it's a little bit different because Steam shouldn't have taken Call of Duty on in the first place. It actually runs worse on Steam than what it runs on Battle.net. So if you were a Warzone player and you only play Warzone, I highly recommend just moving over to Battle.net instead of playing this game through Steam. Yes, I know not a lot of people want to like have multiple launches and shit like that, but we all have multiple launches. We all play our games through different stuff, like, you know, like Battle.net, we have Steam, we have EA, we have Epic Games, we have... There's so much shit that you use, Riot Games. You have, there's so much shit you're using to be able to play different types of games, you know? Like, I mean, I'm busy playing uh, Tarkov right now at this very moment, so it uses 
this launcher over here. So it has so many launchers. Now, a lot of people obviously just wants to have one launcher, which is Steam, and they just want to run every game through Steam. I get that. Don't get, don't get me wrong over here, ladies and gentlemen. But if you only own Warzone, okay? If you only own Warzone and you don't own Black Ops 6, you didn't buy Modern Warfare 3, you didn't buy all Call of Duties, then just move over to Battle.net, go ahead and install Battle.net and install your Warzone fresh over there and it might just work for you. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if you're on Steam and you bought the game and all those kind of beautiful things, this is what you're going to need to do and this is how you fix the Steam version, all right? So you're going to right-click over here, you're going to go to Properties over here and you're going to come inside here. Make sure that the where it says enable the Steam overlay while in game is turned the fuck off. This can actually cause your game to crash without you noticing why it's crashing, without giving you an error. You'll just randomly be back onto your desktop or you'll be back onto the screen like this. So being back onto your Steam. Okay, so I highly recommend please go ahead and turn that off over there. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to come to updates. And you'll see these things over here, all right? You'll see these things. Make sure that they're exactly the same like mine. Then you're going to come to installed files. Now, as you can see here, this is just Call of Duty itself. It's not every single thing. I just have the normal version of Call of Duty installed on my Steam because I don't play it here, okay? I installed this game onto my computer, onto Steam to help people out for the Steam version. I don't play this on Steam. After I've done this video, I'm going to uninstall it off my Steam because I don't need the game to be twice on my computer. All right, so this is how you're going to fix this. You can click on Verify Integrity of Game Files, literally click on this, and then it's going to do the same thing that Battle.net does, which is basically you go here, you go here, and you go for Scan and Repair, right? It's basically the same, but the Steam version is Verify Integrity of Game Files. Now, this is a thing. If you click on this, your Call of Duty might say that there's like 31 files or let's say, I don't know, up to all the way to 3000 files that's corrupted and it needs to re-download it. Then it re-downloads it for you and you wait your patiently for it to download and then it finishes, right? Then you click on Call of Duty and you click the play button. So I'm just going to move this out the way. You click the play button and it's, it goes away and it looks like it's about to work and then the play button just comes back, meaning that it crashed immediately, okay? So... What you're going to need to do next then after that, if you've done this already and this doesn't work either, you are going to go to browse like this. Now, this is where my Call of Duty is installed. So I have mine on my G drive when it comes to Steam. So then you have your Steam install, Steam apps, common, and then your Call of Duty HQ. Now you're going to go one back to your Call of Duty HQ folder like this, and there's the game. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to right click here and make a new folder and just call it Call of Duty New. I'm just going to do that. And then you're going to have a new folder that's called Call of Duty New and then Call of Duty HQ. This is where your game is installed. You're going to go inside here and you're going to click on anything, Control and A to highlight everything, right click on it and say cut. Then you're going to go one back and put it inside the Call of Duty New folder and paste it inside there. Then it's been moved, done and finished. Now you're going to take your Call of Duty HQ folder and delete it. Remove it completely and then close out of this and then close out of this. Then what you're gonna need to do, you're gonna right click here and you go to manage and you're going to say uninstall and you're gonna say uninstall. Now don't worry, you just, you don't worry. You didn't uninstall the game, you just moved it to a completely different folder. Now, what you're gonna need to do is click install. You're gonna install it to that same drive, which is my G drive. I'm gonna say install and then it's gonna start installing. Now this is what you're gonna need to do. Once it starts downloading, so downloading, you're gonna pause it, right? Now it's done and you pause it. Now you're going to go like this. You go to start, you go to this computer, and you go to that G drive, which I have over here, and I'm going to go inside here. All right, now you go to where your game's installed. So my Steam games are installed over here, and then you go to, obviously, your Steam apps, and you go to common, and you're going to have a brand new folder called Call of Duty HQ. And if you go inside here, there will be nothing inside of it, okay? So now I'm just going to go one back and just show you this where it is, as you can see. Just, just, just... Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to need to do the step-by-step. Step. Don't get lost, please. It's, it's, it, I know it's, it seems quite complicated, but it's actually not. As long as you know where your games are installed, then you should be good to go. A lot of people just have one drive, so you should be good to go there. You won't get lost. I have multiple drives, so yeah. Okay, so now this is where your game is because you moved it here and you have your new folder. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this here and then right-click here, go here, and say uninstall, and say uninstall. Okay, now it's been uninstalled. 
Now I'm going to go back to that folder, which is over here, right here, and go here. Move this and open this up. Go to Call of Duty where you moved it. Click here. Press Ctrl and A to highlight everything. Right click on it. Say cut and go one back. Back inside the Call of Duty HQ folder and then say paste. Now once you're done pasting it there, you're going to go one back and delete the folder that's empty now. That is Call of Duty new that you just created to move the, the folders over and the files over into this folder. Delete it with the delete key and then it's gone. Then you're going to say install. You're going to say the same drive. Say install. And then it's going to do this, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to say start downloading. All right. And just leave it. It's going to say validating now. Then you go to downloads like this. And it's going to validate your game files. Let it do this all the way to the end. It gives you obviously some time remaining. Now what it's going to do is this. It's going to run through that files and see if there's anything corrupt, anything missing, or anything like that that's like a broken file, a corrupt file, or there's a file missing, or whatever the case might be. Just ladies and gentlemen, please leave this till the very end, okay? Once this is done, then you can go ahead and click the play button on Steam. If it works for you, ladies and gentlemen, smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here. Now, if it doesn't work, if none of these methods work for you, ladies and gentlemen, all you're going to need to do is just email me, ladies and gentlemen. Just go ahead and email me, and then I can personally fix this game for you. And just bear in mind, I get clients on a daily basis. So I work on first come, first serve. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a beautiful year. And as always, I hope I, could, I helped you and I could help you and I maybe work with you or whatever the case might be if you're going to email me and you, you're fed up with the shit or whatever the case might be because I know a lot of people just get fed up in general and they start emailing me and then I start working with them. All right, as always, ladies and gentlemen, hope this helped you. And as always, peace.